morning, everybody. We are here in Phillipsburg, Montana. Uh, for those of you that have been watching for a while, you might remember that this is Bubba's, what he calls his hometown. He graduated high school here and he lived here for several years back in the late 70s and early 80s. Um, and it turns out his family actually goes back five generations here. Um, so today he got up and left about 6.30 this morning. He is out at his brother's house. They're doing some work on Grace, moving our hitch back and dropping it into the frame and lowering it. And um, we'll explain why we're doing that and go check it out and see how it's looking. I'm getting ready to head out there now and uh, figured take you along, show you what it's like out there and check in on how the work on Grace is doing. All right, so like any good wife, I'm going to stop here at the local market and pick up a case of beer to take out to the boys because it's about lunchtime and I'll bet they'll be about ready for it. is going great. If I wasn't here, it wouldn't get done right. <laughs> it's a good thing I'm here because it's getting done. It's getting done. We're getting the the, the hitch pushed back. Um, and then hopefully by the end of next month we'll have a we'll have a bed on this thing. But yeah. It's not taking us 50 hours MCM. <laughs> right? <laughs> it's not. So, I don't know where you came up with the 50 hours and the $8,000. Right now I've done it for zero dollars. And how many hours now? We started about 7.30. We started and it is... About one? One thirty, something like that. So about five and a half hours to do it. I think they forgot to take that zero off of 50. <laughs> but we're getting it done and it looks... It looks like two rednecks did it. <laughs> uh, if you remember, the hitch was right here. Right here. So what we've done is we've taken the uh, that thing right there, the hitch. We've taken it off of this plate. We dropped the plate down inside the frame. And I don't know how many of you guys are gonna go, oh my gosh, you're welding to the frame. Well, guess what? I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. This truck will never see commercial use again. But that's what we're doing. We dropped it 10 inches, so instead of 56 inches high for the fifth wheel we're going to be down to about 48 49 and i can still raise it up a little bit if i have to so voila all right thanks i'll hand you back to her I just want to take a minute and point out these cliffs back here behind the house and Bubba was telling me at certain times of the year the bighorn sheep you can see them scaling the face of these cliffs and the rams will get into it and they'll butt heads and he said it sounds like a rifle shot echoing through the valley he said it's really cool I haven't seen it myself up here yet but boy would I love to that would be really something all right well yesterday you remember Bubba and his brother worked on the truck and this is stage one of getting pipsqueak there <laughs> the backpack to ride up on the back <laughs> so um they finished kind of late yesterday we had dinner with their family and so this morning now that we've got the sun out let's show you what they did so what we've done is we just this thing here sits on this from the get-go which sat up on top of the frame right up here and we took the sides and them off and set it down inside the frame and 
once the air's in the bags of the truck. This thing raises up to 48 inches, which it probably should be riding about, and that'll give us a level ride on the trailer. But uh, put everything back on it. We had enough wire that we didn't have to splice anything. This thing sat back. And now when we put the, the bed on, we can dovetail it right off the back here and finish it off. So one full day of work yesterday and thanks very much to my brother-in-law Jim for helping him get this going and this is what the truck shop in Bozeman wanted to charge us $8,000 to do. Yeah, 50 hours at a hundred and... Fifteen dollars an hour. Fifteen bucks an hour. Yeah, they're gonna charge us eight thousand dollars to do what the guys did yesterday. So far all it's cost me was a case of beer. Yeah, and I brought that home. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, bada bing, bada boom. The backpack will be on soon. Next step, having the bed built. Yep. Well, there it is, hooked up for the first time with the hitch moved back and lowered and I can't wait to get it on flat ground and see what it looks like, but you can tell that the front of the trailer already is sitting a lot lower, a lot more level. Um, I'm going to try and get some video driving next to the truck today just to see how it looks with the weight moved back. And we're only going from here to the other side of the state with it like this, and then we're getting the bed put on, and then the smart's gonna ride up there. So after today, it'll have a lot more weight on the truck to put towards the front end and kind of counterbalance that shift in weight. So anyways, getting ready to hit the road and we'll see how it does. So far the road trip's going well. The trailer looks like it's riding really nicely. Got my first rock chip in the car window. Truck kicked up a rock and put a little chip in it. So we're really happy in a couple of weeks when we can strap the car down on the truck and let it ride there and I don't have to follow anymore. All right, onward. I better get back to driving. We'll check in with you later. up in Montana and we came to watch our niece in her first 4-H horse show and if y'all remember last year when we stayed at his brother Bob's the calf Licky
before we go any further, this here is, well, it was supposed to be licorice, but she turned out to be licky. This here is licky. She's a bum calf. Her mama wouldn't take her, so Bobby, my brother, put her on a bottle and has raised her on a bottle. Licky thinks she's a dog. Guess who we found out here at the show? <laughs> my brother brought her in. <laughs> <laughs> we have some good footage of her not being a cow. <laughs> yeah. Hi. <laughs> I guess. So now that she's done with her job, we figured we'd come over and say hi to her. Let's see if we can pick her out of the crowd. Yeah. Hey, the, wee, the bugs are bothering me. Oh my goodness, look at you. Look at you. Yeah. So what you doing? What you doing? Huh? What you doing? <laughs> so there you go. Licky still thinks she's a dog, not a cow. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> the sweetest calf I've ever seen. <laughs> so that was cool to be able to see her. She'll be going back to his brother's ranch after the horse show, but that was cool to be able to come out and see her. Not a T-bone yet. She won't yet. be. No, she won't be either. I told him he's got to pick a different one for that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, there's three of us going back to the house. Check this out. Eat your heart out, Jim. <laughs> 